Hi everyone and welcome to Driver Basics. What are the most important parts of hitting a driver? What T height should I use? What's my ball position? And how do I use that high T to actually hit up on the golf ball? If I, if I can make those three things happen, I will probably hit a pretty good drive and there's something beautiful with hitting it high, long and straight. What do we need to practice? Okay, let's start with T height. I want you to tee up the ball so far that half of the ball is over the crown of the golf club. What do I mean by that? Yeah, when the ball is halfway over your club, that should be correct. Some people say that that's too high. It is too high if you think this is an iron. If you think that you're gonna hit down on the golf ball, this will be a disaster. But if you learn from the beginning that hitting up on the ball is correctly. The tee height of a half a ball above the club head will be your help. It's not harder to hit the ball now than it is lying on the ground. Just get used to it. If you hit too many sky balls, you hit too much down on the ball and you still want to use the driver on the course, do it with a lower tee for a while on the golf course only. When you practice, you still need to hit it on a high tee. Don't try to make golf easier. It will never be easy. You need to get good. Hitting a driver the correct way it is really worth waiting for. It will take a little bit longer, but the reward is so much bigger. Don't tee it too low. low. Teeing it too low will kill your driver in the future. Teeing it high now will be maybe a struggle in the beginning, but it will be a reward in the future. How about ball position? Many people think that they should put the ball forward to end, end your slice. But actually, it's the opposite. Putting it too much forward will give you an outside to in, over the top move. That's the only way to reach the golf ball. I'm actually in the way myself. I need to go around myself to even reach the golf ball. Keep it inside your lead hip, inside that hip. From that position, you can hit any golf shot. And if you look at the pros, when they want to hit a draw, they actually put the ball back. If they want to hit a fade or a slice, they put it forward. They understand how the ball position is actually affecting your golf swing. Too much forward, not a good thing. Might help you to close the club face, but it will destroy your path. Hitting up on the golf ball, that's what we need to do. Teeing it this high, you need to understand that hitting up on the golf ball is possible and it is your responsibility. If you want this driver to hit really good golf shots, you need to hit up on the ball. But how do we do that? From the beginning, we need to understand it's not an iron. So what's the difference between this one and an iron? When you hit a club like this, this is just a pitching wedge, but any, any club that you use to hit the ball from the ground, from the grass or from this turf, you need to understand that the first move from the top is a little bit turn and then arms. We need to get back to the lowest point just past the golf ball right here. So we try to go up a little turn and then arms. But how about the driver? If hitting down is starting a little bit with turn and then arms, what's the driver? Maybe more arms. To hit up on a ball, you only need to do one thing. Release those arms, especially your trail arm. If I want to do an upward strike on this golf ball, all I need to do is get 
the clump to have the low point over here. If I can get that, I'll be just fine. How do I do it? And how do I know if I've done it correctly? We need some help from three other golf balls and we need a lot of trail arm. I put the ball I'm gonna hit on the tee and in front of that tee I put three golf balls. I don't need a launch monitor, I don't need anything. I just need something that's telling me if I'm going down or if I'm going up. Hitting down on a golf ball is actually holding the lag a little bit longer. If I hold the lag, the lag is the angle. Holding that for a longer time, I guarantee that the club is going down through the golf ball. But isn't holding the lag the correct way to hit a driver? No. There should be a warning sign on every video, on every magazine tip that says holding, holding the lag. Because if you hold the lag too long, you will slice the ball. You will hit down on it and the driver will not be your friend. Instead, if you go up, you release early, you straighten that trail arm early enough, you will reach the low point over here. But if you start by holding the lag and rotate, you see there's no way I can hit up on that golf ball. So holding the lag, not too long. If I do this correctly, the golf balls will be, still be there when I hit the white one. I got lucky that time. Or maybe I have practiced just like this. I need to know if I'm doing it correctly or not. I need to know what to do. And I'm trying to tell you, holding the lag is a bad thing with your driver. Releasing early is a good thing with your driver. Just do a few practice swings, touch the ground early, and then go and hit a golf ball. But use the three balls in front and you will know if you did it correctly or not. This was driver basics. Tee it up high on practice. Tee it high on the course when you feel comfortable on the practice range. Don't put the ball too long forward. If you do that, it will probably not help you. It will destroy the path. You need to go around yourself to hit the ball and you will end up hitting down on the golf ball. And number three, don't hold the lag. Understand that releasing the lag is much more important. Everyone creates lag, but not everyone releases lag properly. Think about it. How do you think about your driver? How do you hit it? And what's your plan? Maybe this could be a better plan.